Releasing this Wednesday, February 15th, we have the Air Jordan 1 High Cut 85 dropping in the black and white colorway with a retail price tag of $200. Now this is where things start heating up in 2023. It all starts with this release right here. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about this release a little bit. I'm gonna give you my take on it. We're gonna talk about if this is going to be a very limited sneaker. And then towards the end of the video, I'm gonna give you guys some resale predictions. Now the high cut 85 in the black and white colorway is going to sell out super, super fast. This is going to be a tough W. I'm just being honest with you guys right off jump, just to let you know that whatever you got to do to catch a W on this sneaker, you know, whether you got to get friends to help you get multiple devices, get, you know, friends and family members to put in if they don't want that sneaker for you, whatever you got to do, it's all hands on deck for this because just judging from what we've seen in the past, um, you know, just on the Nike sneakers app, as far as how they release these, they're always really, really limited. They sell out immediately and the resale market shows that people do like them because there's sales on pretty much, you know, the other three that have released over the past few years or so. Now, last year for the Georgetowns, those ones sold out real quick, right? And if I remember correctly, and my memory is normally pretty good on the Nike sneakers app, there was only about like 10,000 pairs or so of those. If my memory serves me correct. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comment section below, but I'm pretty sure because I wanted that sneaker real, real bad. I wasn't able to get it. Um, and I expect the same with this one. It's not dropping like on Foot Locker. It's not dropping on Finish Line or any of those normal foot sites or anything like that. This one's basically just going to be available at Boutiques and the Nike Sneakers app. Now the Nike Sneakers app gives you the best chance to cop this sneaker more so than the boutiques because unless you're like in tight with those people, like you know what it is when it comes to the raffles. A lot of those sneakers are already on sale on GOAT and StockX and places like that. Just being honest with you. Now, when it comes to the Nike sneakers app, like I said, get everybody to help you that you possibly can because this one is going to sell out really, really fast. I don't expect a lot of pairs of these. Um, if there's more than 10,000 or so, that's a W in my book. <laughs> you know what I mean? But a lot of us are going to catch L's on here. You know what I mean? So as far as the resale market goes for this sneaker right now, they're sitting around like that 280 to kind of like 325 range, um, you know, right before the release. And if you look at the Georgetowns or the neutral grays or the varsity reds that drop before them, those sort of average anywhere between like 350 to like 500 bucks or so. The higher sizes do go for a little bit more money than like the smaller sizes, like eight through nine and a half and things like that. So when this sneaker does drop, people are going to want it. People are going to go pay resale. And if you're one of those people that catch an L, I do expect this sneaker to, I don't think it's going to go down. I think it's actually going to stay where it's at or go up. So I expect this sneaker to resell from anywhere between three to $400. You might be able to get a good deal if you make offers or maybe some trades or something like that. Maybe get them for 275 or something like that if you're lucky. But I expect this to be a, like a $300 plus sneaker. Um, the smaller sizes will be a little bit cheaper. So small feet gang, you know what I mean? You'll be able to get one of those maybe for a little bit cheaper than you know some of your buddies that wear a bigger size. But it's going to sell out. It's not going to be the easiest sneaker to obtain. So all hands on deck when it comes to this one. As far as doing like any kind of investment in it, I will say this, even though like the resale on it will be decent, like you'll be able to make 100, 200 bucks on it, but like they don't really normally resell past like $500, right? So this isn't gonna be like a thousand dollar shoe or anything like that. Even something like the Varsity Res that dropped and is in a really nice colorway, that one, it most goes for 500 bucks. I don't see this black and white colorway, you know, going up anywhere near past that. So, you know, if you're investing in them, you know, I think that if you're able to get 350, 400 bucks for them, that's probably gonna be around like the max you're gonna be able to get unless you hold them for like an extended, and I mean an extended period of time, like two plus years. And then you might be able to get maybe 550 or 600 bucks. This is not a thousand dollar sneaker. It's not the greatest investment if you're hoping to make a ton of money but if you're just trying to maybe double your money this is a good investment for you but other than that let me know down in the comment section if you're going after the air jordan 1 high cut 85 in the black and white colorway this wednesday when it drops i want to wish you all the best of luck copping thank you guys for your time i'll catch you guys in the next one i love you peace for more sneaker content make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video